Hey YouTube drone people, do you want to be able to fly pre-programmed waypoints and flight modes in the DJI Mavic Mini? Stick around because I'm going to show you how. Welcome back guys. Before we get started, take a second and tap that red button below to subscribe to future content. We've got a lot more videos on the way. Okay, so we all know the Mavic Mini is a surprisingly good drone given its tiny size and its tiny price. And to keep it under 250 grams, many of us believe that DJI gave it a smaller brain, which explained why it doesn't, uh, doesn't have advanced features like object tracking, quick shots, and waypoints. But thanks to a company called DroneLink, we're happy to report that you can now program waypoints in the Mavic Mini to take advantage of autonomous flight modes similar to DJI's quick shots. So who or what is DroneLink? Well, DroneLink in simplest terms is software for drones that allows you to plan, test, and fly complex autonomous missions. It works with iOS, Android, and also on the web. And it acts like a virtual pilot, literally sending stick commands to the drone in real time using the DJI remote controller. You can set up missions in advance that are automatically linked to the app in your smartphone or tablet, or you can create them on the fly in the field. It's because of this virtual stick that DroneLink is able to create waypoints in a drone like the Mavic Mini, which has those disabled. Because DroneLink uses custom software flight controller that performs all of the calculations in real time on your mobile device, older smartphones may not be able to handle the operation. We received an older device warning when we opened the app for the first time using both an iPhone 6 and an iPad Air 2. If your mobile device encounters problems running DroneLink, a warning may appear on the screen that says device running too slow. If this happens to you, let the device get caught up and consider breaking the mission into smaller chunks. Some devices may not be up to the task of running DroneLink, so consider it as a good excuse to upgrade. Now, DroneLink has a definite learning curve, and I'll be honest when I say that DroneLink is not an app you can just open and start using right away, even if you're already familiar with DJI's Waypoints setup. The learning curve for DroneLink appears steep, but the developers have put together an extensive library of video tutorials that guide you through the process of mastering DroneLink's autonomous flight planning. Taking the time to go through the tutorials will help you understand the components and the logic behind DroneLink's mission planning and it's going to save you a lot of aggravation. The video tutorials range in length, but most are bite-sized chunks that help you grasp a concept so you can understand the logic and flow of creating a mission. But we'll emphasize this point one more time. Programming a drone link mission is a complex task. The more you understand before attempting, the more likely you are to enjoy using it. If you skip the learning curve, you're either going to crash your drone or abandon the app altogether. But it's because of this detailed programming and components that are built into DroneLink that make it so powerful. The irony of having an app as powerful as DroneLink running missions for a simple drone like the Mavic Mini is not lost on us. The majority of owners choose the Mini because they want an easy to fly drone without all of the red tape. So for most of those users, DroneLink likely won't be something they'll embrace. But for more serious drone pilots, many of whom keep a Mavic Mini as a companion to their more advanced drones, drone link adoption with the Mini will likely turn out to be like a, a gateway drug to incorporating it across your entire fleet. Now, learning drone link on the Mavic Mini is probably the best way to get started. The Mini is almost a disposable drone, so it's a less risky way to master the software before deploying it on more expensive hardware. DroneLink is subscription-based with different tiers of pricing. We purchased the one-time $20 hobbyist plan just to give us a test drive, which allows for unlimited non-commercial missions. For $20 a month, individuals can purchase a pro plan that gives you 200 minutes of mission execution per month and a metered charge of 60 cents per minute after that. If you are running a business with multiple operators, team plans are also available. They give you additional users, more minutes, and other features. And full details are on the DroneLink uh, website. We've got a link in the description below. After watching a good number of the tutorial videos, I set up a basic five-component mission to take off, fly to a location, complete an orbit, and fly back. I started by logging into the DroneLink on the web in a Chrome browser and put the components of the mission together online. 
After it saves the mission online, it's available for you immediately when you're signed into the DroneLink app. So I took the Mavic Mini outside and set it up for flight as I normally would, except instead of opening the DJI Fly app, I opened the DroneLink app. Once open, I waited for it to grab enough satellites for takeoff and I hit the mission play button. I was a little surprised to see my uh, iPhone 6 run the mission without any lag or warning messages, but I will have to admit to having some nerves about whether the Mini would be safely in my hand in a few minutes or flying away to parts unknown. Now the mission was short, just around a minute, and when it executed the final command to fly to the starting point, I manually exited the mission and land, landed the palm or landed the mini on my palm. Creating and successfully flying even a basic mission like this using a new app is pretty cool. If the nerd is strong in you, I think you're going to really enjoy using both the drone link app as well as the organized learning curve. When I clicked subscribe on the drone link website last night, I didn't expect to be executing my first mission before lunch today, but I did. DroneLink's website has an excellent support forum uh, and a great community that will help you with specific questions and to overcome challenges you may be having with learning the software. Now it is, I've said it so many times already, DroneLink is an incredibly powerful app. Once you start watching the tutorials, you'll have a real appreciation for how much work it was behind the scenes to program this thing. Now the list of DroneLink supported drones is substantial. It's almost exclusively DJI, but it covers drones including Phantom 3 and 4 series, all of the Mavic series except the Mavic Air 2, uh, the Inspire Matrice series, and you can even use the Spark. Now I don't think the SDK for the Mavic Air 2 has been released yet, so that's why it hasn't been added as a supported drone. And DroneLink does also support the Parrot and Affy. And so the mission we set up today uh, was just a simple random flight. If you go to the DroneLink website, you can see how the app is being used by more experienced users for building inspections, towers, ground surveys of air aircraft, cinematography, 360 photos, as well as hyperlapses, mapping, and even 3D construction modeling. Once you get started with DroneLink, there really aren't any limits. But there's one important caveat to be aware of, uh, that using third-party software is excluded from coverage if you have DJI Care Refresh on your drone, unless it's an approved product. Now, at the time of this video, uh, we hadn't confirmed with DroneLink yet whether they are an approved third-party app, so you may want to check that out on your own. So there you have it. Yes, you can have waypoints and really infinite pre-programmed flight modes in the Mavic Mini using DroneLink. I think we're definitely going to have some fun with this crazy powerful app. Thanks for watching, guys. Let us know in the comments below if you are going to give DroneLink a try. Uh, ask us any questions about this. And if you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate it if you just took one second and gave us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it, and it helps other drone enthusiasts find useful content like this. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video.